Hello everyone and welcome to the class. My name is Audrey and today's reading lesson is going to be another interesting one, I think. Um, the article is titled, The Math Gender Gap, Nurture Trump's Nature. Okay, um, so in this article we're going to be discussing a little bit about the differences between men and women when it comes to things such as math. Okay, so this is about a study done to find if there are any differences, um, genetic differences with men and women in regards to math. Okay, so this study was done in India. I found it pretty interesting, so I hope you do too. And as we go through the article, we'll be practicing our pronunciation, increasing our vocab, and of course, um, discussing the article throughout. So as usual, this is a combination of speaking and converse and uh, reading. Okay, so we're having a conversation, we're discussing the topics in the article as we are going through. Okay, so let's see who we have here. Leandro, how are you? Hi, uh, I'm fine, thanks. And you? Great, it's nice to see you. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil, uh, Brasilia, the capital. Okay, very good, very good. It's nice to have you in class. Um, we also have George. How are you, George? I'm well. What about you? Very good, very good. Nice to see you. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil also. Oh, very good, very good. What part? I live in Rio de Janeiro. Okay, okay. So how far is that from Leandro, from Brasilia? Uh, oh, I have no idea, but it's so far. <laughs> I, I uh, five five thousand kil kilo kilometers. Five yeah, thousand kilometers, wow. Yeah, five thousand <laughs> Quite far, yes, very far. Okay, yeah. very good, very good. So maybe you share the same country, but you're not neighbors, right? <laughs> No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I think the class is open for everyone, so those of you who are waiting can go ahead and join. And in just a moment, we will start with our introductions. So, uh, welcome everybody who has joined so far. Uh, let, me, let me tell you again about the article. Okay, the article is titled The Math Gender Gap and it's going to be dealing with the differences between men and women. And this study was done in India, so uh, in a rural part of India, uh, about two different tribes, okay? So I think it's quite interesting. I hope you'll enjoy it, and of course you can ask any questions that you do have. So let's go ahead and see who we have. Anastasia, nice to see you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um... How, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. So, um, tell us, Anastasia, where you're from. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm from Kazakhstan. Um, I'm Russian, and I do love learning English. Okay, very good, very good. It's nice to have you. Mm -hmm. um, let's see who else we have. Sorry if my connection is running a little bit slow. I might be pausing sometimes. Um, but I'll try to to make the most out of it. Okay, we have Antonina. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Very good. It's nice to see you again today. Yes, I'm looking forward to our discussion. I find the theme very interesting. Very good, very good. I really liked this article, so I hope you do too. Tell me again where you're from, Antonina. I'm from Russia. Okay, very good, very good. Um, Next we have Avni. Hello. Yes, we can hear you, but it, your microphone is very quiet. Could you come closer to it or turn it up? Hello again? Okay, it's a little bit better. Okay. okay. 
Uh, hello, uh, my name is Avni. I am from Turkey. And that's it, I think. Okay, very good, very good. You're from Turkey. Um, so great. Nice to meet you. We also have George. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I'm from Brazil, uh, living in Rio de Janeiro. Okay. Very good, very good. Um, we have Indranil. How are you? Hi, Audrey. I'm fine. Very good, very good. You're very quiet. Um, is there any way you could turn up your microphone volume? Hello? Can you hear me now? Yes, it's a little bit better. So it's nice to see you again today, Indranil. Me too. How are you? Okay, tell us where you're from. Uh, I'm from India. And it's nice that the topic is also about India. <laughs> yes, yes, very good. I was hoping that we would have a student from India. So, so maybe you can help us with a little bit more of a perspective. Maybe you know something about what we'll talk about. OK? So very good, very good. Um, we also have Kitty. Kitty V. <laughs> Hello. Hi, um, how are you? I'm Pai. You? Very good, very good. Um, where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. OK, very nice. And how should I call you? V. OK, I'll call you V. OK, very good. So I won't call you Kitty then. <laughs> yeah. OK, nice to see you. Um, we also have Leandro. Would you introduce yourself to the rest of the class? Uh, my name is Leandro. I'm from Brazil. Uh, happy, happy Easter for everybody. Uh, and, uh, yeah, good. Happy Easter. <laughs> happy Easter. And uh, I hope you eat a lot of chocolate. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Um, nice to see you. We also have Wanderson. How are you? Yes, hi Audrey. Hi everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, Where are you from? <laughs> uh, my name is Wanderson. I'm from Brazil. Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. So nice to have you. We have three people from Brazil so far. Uh, very good. Um, we have Yada. Welcome. How are you? Hello, Andre. I'm fine. Thanks, and you? Great. Nice to see you. And tell me, Yada, where you're from? I'm from Mexico. Okay. Very good. Very good. Nice to have you. So we are going to go ahead and start with this article, which I hope you will find interesting. Again, let me know if you have any questions. As we're going through, I'll help you with your pronunciation and um, any vocab words and as always, there will be a discussion. So we probably won't get through the entire article just because it's a longer article and I want us to have a chance to discuss. Um, but of course, I will give you the link at the end if you would like to continue. OK, so here's the article on my screen. Let me give you a link quickly. And um, is the verb link chat working for everybody? Yeah. Yes. No, it's not clear okay, for very me. Good. Yeah, it works. OK, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the link in the Google chat as well. OK. Thank you. No problem. OK. So just let me know, again, if you have any problems accessing the the article and of course you can click my screen on the bottom to keep it up on the screen so um, let's go ahead and start with Anastasia Anastasia mm -hmm. would you like to read the title of the article and then the first paragraph uh -huh, sure the mass gender gap uh, nurture Trump's natural uh, Rural India might not seem a likely place to study the roots of gender differences in mass uh, performance, but a new study of two uh, tribes living in the northeast of the country offers in intrigue. 
writing, evidence that biology alone does not deter determine women's mass aptitude or lack uh, thereof, as former Harvard president uh, Lawrence. Summers once uh, and famously suggested, and that uh, culture has a lot to do with the difference between the genders. Okay, very good, very good. So if there were some things that you didn't understand in this paragraph, don't worry, because we'll get to them. I just wanted to uh, correct a couple words for you, Anastasia, okay? Uh-huh. Yep. So the first one is this one about in the middle, intriguing, intriguing. In intriguing. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And the other one... Okay, so it looks like infamously, but it's pronounced infamously. Infamously. The stress is perfect. The stress is okay. on the first syllable. Uh -huh. Okay, Thanks. everything else was everything else was very good. So let's think about what is um, introdu introduced in this paragraph. So we have the title and we have a brief introduction of the study to come. Let's start with the title, The Math Gender Gap, Nurture Trump's Nature. Can anybody explain the title for us? It it tries to, it is a, I, I really don't know what gender is. <laughs> okay, gender just means male or female, male or female. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so when uh, it says, when it says first the math gender gap, that means that there, is there a difference between men and women when it comes to math? and how well they are at math. What is like nurture? Right, so after that we have the subtitle Nurture Trump's Nature. Does anybody know what that means? Mm, no. Any ideas? So this, uh, this concept, go ahead Wonderson. <laughs> yes, I think Trump's is to be better like uh -huh. nurture is better than nature in this this article is talking about that nurture could be a training or I don't know the training developing uh, abilities it's, it's talking it's about math. training is better than nature the gender right nature. okay yeah you're, you're exactly right so this term nurture versus nature or nurture trumps nature is very commonly used um, and what it means is nurture or development culture and um, lifestyle um, versus genetics okay so that's mm -hmm. the nature nature is your genetics what you're born with and nurture is the way you're brought up your culture and your development things that aren't um, decided by your genes and your genetics so this is, this is the discussion. Is it more important um, the nature or your genetics or your culture and how you're brought up? And they're talking about this difference between men and women. Is there a difference between men and women's abilities because of the genetics or because of the culture and the development, how they're brought up? Okay. Okay. So I tried to explain that in a couple different ways. Does everybody understand what it means, nurture trumps nature? Yes, yes. Okay, very good, very good. So um, you can see just by that sentence, they're suggesting that the culture and the development is better than or is stronger than the nature or the genetics. Okay, and this is the, what the study found. So that's just the title. Let's look at the introduction paragraph. Were there any questions you or any words you didn't understand there? Yes. Uh, uh, okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, j just a minute. There, there off, there off. 
or lack thereof. Okay. Okay, very good. So this phrase, or lack thereof, means, let's see what we have before it. Um, bio biology alone does not determine women's math aptitude. Or lack thereof means their, um, if they have a lack of aptitude for math. So either they have aptitude or lack thereof. They don't have any math aptitude. Uh, lack thereof is like uh, uh, she, they, she, she, uh, like uh, they wasn't born with no aptitude. Right. Exactly. Okay. Thanks. Mm hmm Okay. Good question. Any other questions? So let me just summarize this uh, introduction paragraph really quickly so we can all be on the same page, okay? So um, what we're doing to find out if nurture or nature is more important is we're going to take a look at two different tribes in rural India, two different tribes. And looking at these tribes, um, we're going to see how we see in the paragraph. If biology alone determines this factor or if it's more about the culture. Okay. So everybody understand okay so far? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. If you ever get confused, just let me know. I want us to be able to um, discuss this, so hopefully you're understanding everything well. Okay, very good, very good. So let's go to the next section and see what happens. Again, we're looking at these two tribes. So, um, Antonina, would you read the next one for us? Mm -hmm. A prior research has found that fewer than 10% of math professors are women at PhD granting institutions. Only 7% are full professors at top 100 universities. Uh, so understanding the reasons for the disparity could help address it. The new study of members of the Khasi and Karbi tribes of India suggests that the influence of culture can virtually eliminate at least some of the gender differences. Okay, very good, very good. So in the first part, we're seeing that there is definitely a gap, a gender gap, because less than 10% of math professors are women at these institutions. So there's got to be some reason why there is this difference. Okay, and that's why we're looking at these two tribes to find out what that reason might be. Any questions in this paragraph? Any words you didn't understand? Yeah, what does it mean disparity? Okay, uh, around the middle it says reasons for the disparity. The disparity is a big difference. Okay, thanks. So we're trying to understand why there's such a big difference between men and women in math. Okay, very good question. Any other questions? Uh, I have one. Uh, what okay. The, what's the meaning of what address it after disparity? To address it is to yeah. tackle it or to give it attention. Uh, so understand the reason for the disparity could help address it. Address it. Uh, this uh, ad, ad, address it is nothing uh, related to address. Right, it's different uh, from like an address. So it says we have to understand the reasons for the difference in order to address it or solve the problem. Address is, is an expression you very uh, you uh, very common. Right, to an address an issue or to address a problem is a very common uh, way of saying to try and solve it. Okay, thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. Very good question. Any other questions? Uh, what means fewer? Let me see. Fewer than. Fewer than or less than? 
Oh, um, it, it's, uh, it seems like minus then. Right, minus yeah. or less than, less than 10%. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. Very good, very good. Any other questions? Okay, um, so again, we're looking at this, this great difference or this disparity between men and women and we're taking a look at these two tribes. And I just had a question for Indranil. I was wondering if you had heard of these tribes. Yeah, I am from Northeast only, so I know about this. Oh, very good, very good. Um, and before we get into the article, is there anything you could tell us about the two tribes? Uh, these are the tribes of Assam, that's the state of India. Uh, it's a very minor group. Uh, it's actually there are many tribes mm -hmm. uh, like Ahum and Khasi, whatever you have known here. Uh, I don't know much about them, but uh, <laughs> just I know it's a tribe we have. They yes. have different. La they have different languages also. They speak mm -hmm. different. Languages. Yeah. Okay, very good, very good, interesting. So you're, you're close to this area where they live. Yeah. Okay, very good. So let's see what we can find out about them. And maybe, Indranil, you'll learn a little bit more about the tribes as well. Yeah, thanks. Okay, very good. Any other questions here? Even if it's not a specific word and you just don't understand what's going on, uh, feel free to ask. But for now, we will assume that everybody understands and go to the next section. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me put the screen back up. Okay, so we have... Um, Avni, could you read the next section for us? Are you there, Avni? Okay, maybe not. Let us know if you come back. We'll go first to George. George, would you read the next one? Yeah, sure. Um, researchers led by Mosh Hoffman, a postdoctoral fellow at the University of California, San Diego, he studied villagers from both tribes. Genetically, genetically the Kashi and Karbi are highly similar. The groups only become separate a few hundred years ago and some intermarriage countries. Both groups are also substance fam farmers, living mainly on rice in a high region that gets world record levels of rainfall. Okay, very good, very good. So let's look at a couple words here, George. This first one, subsistence, subsistence. Okay. Okay, subsistence. Um, what does it mean, subsistence farmers? Can anybody tell us? Um, maybe the farmers that produce by themselves to survive. Right, exactly, exactly. So those subsistence farmers are the ones, they don't, they don't farm to make a lot of money, they only farm to provide for themselves and their family. Okay, so that's how they survive, by farming. And the other word, the other correction I had for you, George, was this one, hilly, hilly. Okay. A hilly region. So it means one, a region with many hills. Okay, okay very good. regions. Okay. Okay, perfect. So we're learning a little bit more about these tribes, um, mostly that they're genetically similar. They're very similar genetically. And um, they're subsistence farmers living in a very hilly region. Okay, very good. Any questions in this section? Uh, what is what is hilly? Hilly means a region with many hills. Uh, I don't know what a hill is. 
Okay, who wants to explain? What is a hill? Hill is a ma mountain. Like mountains? Yeah, it's like a short mountain covered yes. with grass. Okay. Uh, okay. And, uh, I w I'd like to know what the, the word philo on, on a, a, post, a postdoctoral philo. What a post? Oh, yes, a fellow. A fellow. A fellow is is somebody who is usually studying something, something like an intern. So a fellow, somebody who is working at a place, but they're not necessarily getting paid, or they're not getting paid much. They're still studying, but they're working at the same time. Oh, uh, okay, okay, thanks. Okay, very good, very good. So this is the person who is leading this research about these two uh, tribes in India. Okay, any other questions? Uh, what is the name of subsistence farmer? Right, we have the word subsistence farmers. Um, and we went over that, but subsistence farming is when you farm just for yourself and your family. So you farm to survive. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Any other questions? Okay, very good. So let's, let's continue. Let's see what else we can find out about these tribes. Indranil, would you read the next section? Uh, teacher, teacher, uh, before he reading, uh, okay. uh, can you can you tell me what is living living mainly? On, uh, I didn't understand the living mainly on rice. Mhm. Mm yeah. So it says living mainly on rice. That means that's what they uh, eat to survive mostly. Uh, living basically. Uh, living basically eating rice. Right. Like Something like that. So living, basically eating rice, or mainly that's what they eat. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, so go ahead, Indranil. Yeah, sure. Culturally, however, they are distinct. The Kirby are patrilineal. Women are only rarely allowed to own land, and the eldest son in each family inherits the property. Political and religious leadership is male-dominated, and girls leave school nearly four years earlier than boys. Okay, very good, very good. So we've talked about how genetically similar these two tribes are, and this, this paragraph suggests that culturally they are very distinct, or they are very different. Okay, um, great job. Any, any questions here? Petrilineal. Right, we have this word patrilineal. Does anybody know what it means, patrilineal? Or can you guess by the context? Can you say again? It was very quiet. <laughs> My mic is very quiet today. Uh, he or she uh, comes from that father. Right, so that um, prefix we have um, patra, patra, meaning uh, coming from your dad, like paternal. So the carbi are patrilineal, meaning that the man is um, the prominent figure. Okay, in the culture, the man is the most important. So then it goes on to tell us that women are only rarely allowed to own land. Mostly men are the ones who own the land. Um, the son gets the property, and um, these political and religious leadership positions are for men mostly. Okay, very good. So that's what um, the carby. The carby is patrilineal, meaning centered around the man, or male-dominated. Uh, eldest. What is the eldest issue? Eldest? Eldest means yes. the oldest. Yes. 
Is it the same? Right, the same. The eldest or the oldest son, the one who is the oldest. Okay. Um, what about unhurried? Let me inherits. see where it's inherits. Inherits. What does it mean to inherit? Anybody? Well, it means that uh, after the um, death of uh, grandparents and parents, some things uh, are left to their children. Right. Like for, Go ahead. Like, for example, uh, you can inherit money from your grandmother who died, and now you are a millionaire. Mm-hmm. We can hope. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. That's a pretty good example. <laughs> yes, very good example and explanation. So it says the eldest son or the oldest son inherits the property. So when the father dies, he gives he gives it to the son, not to his wife. Okay? Okay. So the main part of this section is that the Karbi are, are male-dominated. They're a male-dominated culture. And I think a lot of cultures are male-dominated, but not as much as this one. Okay? Okay. So that's the Karbi. Let's see about the next one, the Kasi. The Kasi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Kasi. Okay, um, very good. So, uh, V, would you like to read about the Kasi? Um, okay. Among the Kasi, women are the landowner, with no exception. In her return, go to the youngest daughter, and men are not supposed to handle money, even cast and a by men working outside the family farm is typically given to their wife. Both gender are equally educated. Okay, very good, very good. Great job. So now we're talking about the Kasi, which is seems to be the opposite of the Karbi. The Karbi is patrilineal, meaning centered around the man. And the Kasi seems to be centered around the woman. The women own the land, the inheritance goes to the daughter, and the women uh, handle the money. So, uh, very interesting. Any questions here? Um, what's made up? Land down, eh? Okay, the landowner, they're the ones who own property. They own the land. So it says women are the landowners, meaning they own the land. They are the owners of the land. Okay. Mm. Okay, any so, other question? What is, uh, what is the pronoun Which word? Can you say again? Uh, inheritance. I don't know how to mention. After exceptions. Oh, yes. Inheritance. 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 Perfect. Okay. Inheritance. okay. So, any other questions? Okay. If not, then what are some comments? Um, the Karbi is centered around the man, but the Kasi is centered around the woman, something that's very unusual. Uh, what do you think about that? Um, I think it's, be it's, be it's better than the other tribal. The other tribal. Because... Yeah, I think it's better because the... The woman has more rights in the state. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, the woman has more rights. And at the end it says both genders, both males and females, are equally educated. So that seems pretty good. Uh, any other comments? 
Yes. Go ahead, Wonderson. Okay. <laughs> But I think, uh, I don't know if women will uh, handle the money well. I don't think they can handle money well. That's, I think that's the negative point of this tribe. Oh, so you think the women are going to do um, poorly with the money? <laughs> yes, we spend every, uh, all of the money. <laughs> yeah, so it could be, it could be. Um, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Um, Leandro, you wanted to add something? Yes, I'd like to know uh, if the opposite of patrilineal is motherlineal. Okay, we say we say matriarchal, matriarchal. Matriarchal. So you can see the, the next uh, part. One, one of them is patrilineal. Uh, the other, the Cassi, are matriarchal. Exactly, exactly. Matriarch. The Kasi are matriarchal. Okay, a um, very good question. Any other comments? What do you think about this difference? How do you think it could affect other things? GT uh, isn't perfect too because all the all the sons and, daughter, and daughters uh, should should have the right to should have the the, the right to to handle uh, money money and uh, the right about in return. Mm -hmm. And okay. in this case, they separate the youngest daughter and the man. In the youngest daughter, right? Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, so you think maybe that um, everybody sh should be equal instead of maybe just one group? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, very good. Very good. So let's see what else we can find out. So we'll keep going. And uh, Lucas, would you like to read this, this next one? Yeah, sure. Uh, the curves the are not completely matriarchal. However, men do make up the political and the religious leadership. These variant land practices are permitted in India as the tribal regions are semi autonomous, similar to America in their reservations. Okay, very good, very good. So, um, we're still talking about the Kasi, saying that they're not completely matriarchal. And this one we learned meant centered around the woman. So, men are the ones, even in the Kasi, who make up the political and religious leadership. Okay, very good. Any other questions? What is semi-autonomous? Yeah, we have the word semi-autonomous. Does anybody know what that means? What is similar? Similar? Sorry, similar Lucas, is, can you say again? Your question is about the word similar. No, it's about semi, semi right, semi-autonomous. Uh, sem Okay, so autonomous means um, alone or self-sufficient. So if they're yeah. semi-autonomous, they're maybe like halfway um, on their own. So they're still connected to um, India, the country of India. Um, however, they are um, halfway on their own. So they can, they can do different practices that maybe don't happen in the rest of India. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Um, very good. Any other questions? What is semi autonomous? Right, this word semi autonomous, like we said, it's it's something that is or some some group of people that are 
kind of on their own and kind of connected to the rest of the country. So part of them is connected to India, the entire country of India, um, but they're still allowed to do other things that maybe might not be permitted. Okay. okay, thank you. Very good, very good. And there is a lot of noise, so just make sure to mute your microphone um, if you are having some background noise. Okay, any other questions? Okay, so let's go, we know a little bit about the Carby and the Kasi. Let's go to the study now and see what the study finds out. So let's see, Wanderson, would you like to read this one? Yes. Uh, Hoffman and his colleagues, uh, sorry. Is there an echo? <laughs> Uh, Hoffman and his colleagues studied 1,279 people from four Kasi and four Karbi villages, paying them for their time to test their ability to solve block puzzles. Uh, each block was divided into four parts and tests were scored by f uh, how fast people could accurately assemble the pictures painted on them. The puzzles were designed to test participants' special spatial spa 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 abilities, which are linked to math and science aptitude. Okay, very good, very good. Just that word right there, spatial, spatial. Spatial. Okay. Um, good, everything else was good. So this is the study. We're starting to look at the study and what happens. So we took um, 1,279 people from these uh, villages, from these Kasi and Karbi villages, and tested their ability to solve these puzzles. Okay, any questions here? Yes, I have a question, like always. Uh, accurately assemble, what, is, what does it mean? Okay, to accurately assemble, accurately. Accurately. Good, accurately. Okay. Accurately. 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 Perfect, perfect. <laughs> this may be a little hard. Um, but um, accurately, to accurately is to correctly, to correctly assemble or build something. Okay, so we had a block divided into four parts and they needed to accurately assemble the block or correctly put it together. I don't know what assemble is actually, not actually, actually I, I know, but assemble I don't know. Okay, to assemble is to put something together or to build it. Okay, thanks. So they needed to accurately assemble or to correctly put together um, these puzzles. Okay, any other questions? What is spatial abilities? Spatial abilities, yes. Um, spatial abilities are, uh, in this case, we can think of them as just some, some abilities that help you in math. So they help you to see things in a correct and mathematical perspective. Okay. There is a lot of noise. Try to mute yourself. I can't, I can't uh, tell who it's coming from, but just try to keep Keep your mic muted if there's some background noise. Okay, um, so again, we have these two, two different tribes trying to complete these puzzles and see how fast they can complete these puzzles to test their spatial abilities or their ability to solve mathematical problems. Okay? Anything else? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's go on. And we have um, Antonina, would you like to read the next one? Mm -hmm. uh, among the male dominated carby, men were 36%, um, 36 percent faster at solving the block puzzles than women. But about a third of the overall differences was uh, attributable to the greater education received by the boys among the Carby, and the rest seemed to be linked to other cultural differences. Okay, very good, very good. So we're comparing the, their time that they solved these puzzles between the men and the women. So the Carby men were 36 percent faster at solving these puzzles than the women. It's a pretty significant difference. Okay, any questions here? So what are some comments? What are some comments? What does it say the difference could be attributed to? Greater education. Right, exactly. So if you remember from the beginning, the Carby, the Carby men got more education than the women. So it might not be just the cultural differences, but also the higher education that the Carby men got. Okay, um, anything else? What is overall? overall? The word overall? Okay, the overall difference is the entire difference. The entire difference. Okay. So it says a third of that 36% um, was attributed to the higher education. Everything else was um, linked to cultural differences. So what are some of the cultural differences? To review, what are the differences between the Carby and the Kasi? Uh, women are not educated in Khas Karbi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the women are not educated as much in the Karbi. What else? Uh, the Karbi are material and the other one are, are uh, patrilineal. Okay, the Carby uh, are the ones, the Carby are patrilineal, patrilineal. And the Kasi are um, matriarchal. Matriarchal. Okay. So what else? What are some other differences? Uh, I think they are maybe happier because they uh, inherit the money, all things they inherit. Maybe they are ha happier. Which one's happier? The uh, men are happier because they inherit and own land, maybe. Oh, inherit yeah. Money. Okay, yeah, so it could be that the men are happier. They, they not only inherit the money, but they have the power in most circumstances. Yeah. So it could be a reason why they um, are better at these puzzles. What else? Any other ideas? No, just that. Okay, uh, very good, very good ideas. Let's look at the Kasi. We have the Kasi right here. And um, George, would you read about the Kasi? Sure. Uh, among the Kasi, the difference between men and women was so small that it was not statistical. Statistically significant. This study tells tell us that culture does matter, says Hoffman. What makes it unique is that we can control for biology. Okay, very good, very good. So talking about the Kasi, 
Um, we're saying that the difference between the men and the women in solving the block puzzles was so small that it was insignificant or statistically insignificant. Okay, so the, the Carby had a 36% um, difference and the Kasi, it was almost exactly the same. Um, any questions here? No. Okay, everything's okay. So, so why do you think with the Kasi that there wasn't a difference between the men and the women? Because of their education, of course. Mm -hmm. Right, so one of the factors would be the education. The education, because the Kasi are educated equally. Yes, they give the opportunity to the, the girl, the women, uh, learn about. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Indranel, did you want to add something too? Girls are treated. Uh, uh, means women are treated in the same manner like uh, males. Men. Mm -hmm. uh, did you get it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so you said that uh, the women are treated the same in the Kasi? Yeah, like men. Right, exactly. Exactly. So the women are treated uh, like the men in the Kasi. Any other ways or reasons why the Kasi could be uh, the same with men and women? Okay, let's look at the second part of this um, paragraph. It says, this study tells us that culture does matter. What makes it unique is that we can control for biology. Can anybody explain what that means? What does that mean we can control for biology? So it doesn't depend on what you uh, inherit uh, from your parents or culture. Oh, whatever you inherit, it doesn't depend what you inherit from your parents. It depends how you nurture your children or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Exactly. What controls, yeah. Right, so the reason that we can control for biology here is because remember in the beginning they had said that genetically the Carby and the Kasi are very, very similar. So their genetics are very similar. The difference is with the culture. So it would, it would seem that the culture is the thing that is um, affecting this difference between men and women. Okay, very good, very good. Let's, let's see maybe one or two more sections and then we'll open it up for discussion. So, um, Indranil, would you like to read the next section? Yes, sure. Just a second. Hoffman, right? Right, this one. Uh, Hoffman des describes uh, conversations he had with villagers that typify differences. Among the Kirby, he spoke with an 18-year-old girl who had recently married. She had left school at age 8. I asked her, why didn't you keep going? She replied, that would be a complete waste. Women are not smart enough to understand and would I never use it anyway. Okay, very good, very good. So this is a conversation that the researcher had with a Carby woman. And remember this Carby, um, this Carby tribe is centered on the man. So you can see very clearly the difference between, um, the difference in her attitude towards women. So she is a woman herself, she is a woman herself, and she believes um, that school is a waste of time. 
So any questions here? Sorry, was there a question? Could you repeat? Uh, Maybe not. No, I have no question. Okay, so so what do you think? Can we comment on this one? What do you think about the way that the Carby woman thinks of women? Um, the girls, in, in especially the girls when a child, and they 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 grew they grew with in mind that the woman won't use want to make use, for example, of math, of science, and so on in their life. They just have in mind that, that uh, they will keep at home, work at home, doing a um, woman's job, and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can really see from the words of a Carby woman um, what they are taught to believe. Yeah, okay, they, Future, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, any other comments? What do you think about this comment that she makes? Yeah, uh, I think they are, uh, women are not motivated to, to study or to try to, to improve their careers or something like that because the uh, political and the religious power is main that dominates. And uh, the money, political, religious, the land, money, land, the main dominates everything. So uh, there's not a future for them. They're not motivated to, to improve, to try to, to get something. Right, exactly. So, so maybe it's the lack of motivation that the women have for themselves that um, holds them back, you could say. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um. Very good. Very good. We will read one more, and let's see. Yeah. Go ahead. The last sentence. Uh, smart enough to understand, and would I never use it anyway? Should it be would I ever or never? Would I ever? Okay. Um. Let me see. And would I never use it? That should be, I would never use it. It shouldn't be, would I never use it. Would I ever, it won't be ever. So it should be, never. I would never. Okay. I think, that, I think you're right. The way that it's written, it should be, would I ever, if it's a question. Okay, okay. I so let me write that, would I ever is the question and then I would, would never. never use. Okay, so in the in the article they have it switched around. Uh, the person who wrote this article it should say I would never use it anyway. Yeah. Okay? okay. Um, good eye. Okay, thanks. And we'll read one more. Uh, Juan Carlos, how are you? I find it and I I find very good, very good. It's nice to see you. Would you like to read the last section for us? It starts with among the Kasi. Okay. Among the Kasi, however, it is it is male abilities that are your subject of negative steroid types. Speaking to an a uh, Kasi woman. Hoodman confirmed that she handled the finance in her marriage. When asked why, she replied, if you give a man money, he's just going to wait it on both seats. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Let me correct a couple words for you, Juan. This one is booze, booze. Booze. Okay, okay. what is booze? Does anybody know? I don't know. Alcohol. Right, booze is alcohol. So alcohol. when you when when you ask this Kasi woman, um, 
She says, if you give a man money, he's just going to waste it on booze or alcohol. <laughs> so, Wanderson, remember in the beginning you said women will just waste the money? Well, no. these Kasi women think that men will just waste the money. <laughs> I don't agree. <laughs> so, so, very interesting, very interesting. Okay, um, so... So what do you think about this? This is the other tribe of the Kasi woman is saying negative things about the man. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, there's some men like that who waste money on alcohol. <laughs> so Indranel, so Indranel, yeah. do you think that um, it's better for the women to handle the finances or the men? No, if man is sober, then it's okay. <laughs> but if man is careless, means it's not available. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so really, from these quotes from the um, from the different tribes, from the Karbi and the Kasi, you can really get an idea of how the different um, groups view each other. They view the different genders very differently. Okay, um, so that is, of course, a key factor in how they're educated and how they, they treat each other. So very interesting. I wish we had more time to continue, but we are out of time. Um, the link is in the verbaling chat if you want to continue. But I hope that that um, made you think a little bit more about what some of the differences are between men and women. And maybe it's not all about genetics and biology. Maybe it's about the different cultures as well. Yeah. So I hope it was interesting. Yes, go ahead, Leandro. Uh, I, I, I read something uh, some time ago that that uh, uh, that, uh, told, that uh, told I don't know that uh, that uh, uh, matriarchal families are more lovely. Are more lovely or more yes, loving? Because, because the mother is the center of the family. Yeah, so so maybe it could be. Maybe that is a, a something else that you could take from this. Um, yeah, maybe it could be. So that could be an interesting article. Yeah. Okay, um, very good, very good. So um, if anything, we learned those two words, um, patrilineal, patrilineal, and uh, matriarchal. So centered around the man and the woman. So thank you everyone for coming, for participating in reading and discussing, and I hope to see you in the future, okay? Okay, thank, thank you very much. Yeah, take care everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night.